Hi everyone. Uh, thank you for joining our PR lessons for today. All right, so my name is uh, Arina Asri and I am the application engineer at Cat Systems Number High. Okay, so for today's lesson, as uh, we are going to learn on how we can uh, uh, on the BIM Collaborate Pro. So basically, we are going to learn on what we, what are the function of the BIM of this BIM Collaborate Pro. Okay. All right. So for uh, so what is a uh, BIM Collaborate Pro? All right. So BIM Collaborate Pro is a platform. It's a cloud platform for the whole project team members. Okay, and then um, BIM Collaborate Pro also uh, is also for the designers for the co-authoring where we can work uh, anytime, anywhere for in Revit, Civil 3D and Plan 3D. And also uh, in BIM Collaborate Pro as well, we can centrally manage uh, our data in a unified platform. And the next one is uh, we can share feedback, view insights, uh, detect clashes on any device um, using this BIM Collaborate Pro. So basically, if you are using, uh, if you are um, assessing this BIM Collaborate Pro from, from, from iPad or iPhone, so basically we can um, uh, use this function where we can share feedback, view insights and detect clashes on any device. Okay. All right. So for demonstration for today, okay, let me just go back here. Okay, so for demonstration of for today is we are going to learn on the uh, the course outline for today is we are going to create project, uh, design collaboration, and also editing markup issues. So basically, this is for like a beginner. Uh, to use this BIM Collaborate Pro. So I'm going to show you on how we can uh, create project and uh, so we can do the design collaboration in BIM, in BIM Collaborate Pro. And also we can add in markup and issues. All right, so that is the question. Okay, so BIM Collaborate, BIM Collaborate Pro is inside EEC collection. All right, so um, let me just uh, share with you the screen. Okay. Screen here. All right. This is um, my 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 other account. So basically, um, BIM Collaborate Pro is uh, not included in EEC. Okay, so uh, BIM, Collaborate, BIM Collaborate Pro is uh, another license. So if you uh, if I click on this EEC collection and I can click on the view items, right? So if uh, you can see here, um, only the docs docs you can only access the docs for EEC collection. Basically, BIM Collaborate Pro is in another license. All right, let's go back and then, okay, so let me start first my uh, BIM Collaborate Pro. So to, to access your BIM Collaborate Pro, you can uh, go to your Autodesk account and then under this product and services, if you have the license for BIM Collaborate Pro, so it will be show here, BIM Collaborate Pro, and then you can click access now. All right, so once you access this uh, BIM Collaborate Pro, okay. Okay, let me just wait, let's just wait uh, so that it will um, appear. Okay, um, okay, so uh, if, you guys, if you guys have any questions or any issues, you can directly ask on the chat or just turn on the mute so that I can uh, and, and arise your, your issues. Okay, so once I click on the on access the BIM Collaborate Pro, this Autodesk Construction Cloud will appear. So for this uh, BIM Collaborate Pro, we will be opening this unified projects. All right, so once I click this unified projects, it will appear the project list uh, that you involve. So basically, these are the uh, project that, that I involve. Okay, that uh, that been using BIM 360 and BIM Collaborate Pro. So in here. There are a few op two options here where you can create a, a project template and also create projects. So basically, for a project template, um, meaning that uh, you want to create a template basically for a folder structure. Okay. So if your company already have the structure for the folder, 
so then you can create this project template so for now i'm just going to create show you on how we can create a project so once i click these projects here i click create project all right so to create the project so these are the things that we need to fill in so for example we need to fill in also the project name uh, account project type and so on so basically for now i'm just going to rename my uh, project as the neon center all right and the project number so basically for this uh, account what are the number of the projects maybe these are the uh, third project that you are working on so you can just uh, type in the project number all right so from the account i'm going to choose this account system because currently i am the on the account systems account and the project type so here you can choose this uh so the project type here so for instance you are working on a project for um restaurant or a warehouse so you can just choose here so for it for here i'm just going to choose this theme park okay so as i said just now if you have template you can just directly um directly choose the template from here okay so where we, where we can aware on this under this project templates we can create the project templates so on here under the templates if you have the project templates so you can directly choose the project templates so for now because i don't have any uh, project templates so i just leave it like this and then if you have the address you can also uh, as well enter the address and the start date end date and also the project value the cost of the project value and then you can create the project okay so once i click the create project okay let's just wait some time uh, because um this uh beam collaborate will process our new project here okay so once we click the create project it will bring us to the auto desktops to the project administration of our project here all right so this is the project admin so basically i am the project admin so if you want to add another project admin you can just directly add from here so if i want to add uh another another team members for instance i want to add my click here okay anna here and also this um area here okay just for just for just three people here and then the company I'm just gonna define them uh, the company is the ACAT systems okay and the role okay if you want to uh, define the role for them you can just uh, choose from here okay so for instance they are the engineer for our for this project and then if you want them to have the access for the project administrator you can just click on here so basically the, the difference between this project member and project administrator is um where project member uh, it can they can assess all tools and also they can verify our specific uh, permissions uh, on each of the folder but for this uh, project administrator uh, they have the ability to create a project okay like i just like i did just now create a project so if you are the project admin so you can create a new project all right so for bib collaborate pro the product access that the product that we need to access is this model coordination design collaboration and docs okay just three and then i click on invite all right so once i click on this invite here all right on the right side here all right uh i need to specify first the purchase products that i need to turn on so basically in this beam collaborate pro like i said just now it needs the docs and also design collaboration and a model coordination as well but uh, for today's i'm just going to show you on this design collaboration all right because it's uh, if i uh, will include the model coordinations uh, course uh, for today's it kind of take a very long time so i think uh, i am i am, I am um, I don't have much time so basically this module coordination i will do another pre on lessons in the future all right so once you turn on here and then you can just go uh, reload this page okay i reload this page all right okay when i click this under this project admin here right 
Let me just reload the game. All right, so once I uh, reload the game and I click on this project admin, so now we can have the, the one, the products that we have turned on just now, which is the docs, the design collaboration and model coordination. Okay, so let me just go to the docs here. All right, so that is on the creating a project. All right, well, so now is I'm going to show you on the docs where we can add files in our docs, in our Autodesk docs. Okay, so if you open the docs under the files here, we only have these two primary um, primary files called the photo field and also project fields, project files. So basically, um, in Autodesk doc, uh, we cannot add any any main folder, only these two folder that can have in this files, but uh, we can add this add subfolder. So for instance, you want to add, uh, maybe you want to add model, and then another one is you want to add the uh, um, see deliverables, deliverables. All right, let me add just some more and addendum. All right, so that is on the um, adding the subfolder. The subfolder. Okay, so under this uh under this folder, when I click on this tree here, I have these permissions. All right, so when I click on this permission, so the permissions function is where you can um, uh, set the permission for each of the team members. Okay, so for instance, I'm going to add uh, another one. I'm going to add uh, the, you see, the architecture, architect here. And then the permission for the architect is only for the viewing and creating. All right. So basically, if, if the permission is uh, only until this create here, uh, the architect here don't have uh, the function, the, the, the ability to, to upload and then to edit and also to uh, and also to uh, upload in the edit. All right, so if we choose this architect uh, full administration, so basically uh, she, he, uh, he or she, the architect can uh, have the full control for this, for this uh, project. Okay, for this each of the files. All right, so let me just click on the edit here and then I can add. All right, so that is for the permission where we can um, set the permission for each of our team members. All right, and then another one is on the uploading the files. So for instance, I'm going to add upload the files in my model here. So I click upload, okay. So I can go and open from my computer. All right, let's see where is my files. I have here this um, font here, fish font root, all right, and I click open. All right, so basically this, uh, this fish font root is being uploaded. And I also want to add another files, which is on my desktop here this surface i click open so this is the on my civil 3d models models that i upload uh, to this beam collaborate pro all right so once we have done uploading here okay so basically this one is still processing once we have done you can click on the done here okay let's just wait a couple of time okay let me just uh minimize this one first waiting for them to be uploaded in our auto desktops. Okay, I'm just gonna, sh uh, gonna uh, show you a bit on the design collaboration. So basically for today's, I'm going to cover on this design collaboration. Okay, so you can click on this design collaboration. So the function for this uh, design collaboration is basically uh, when in a project, you have many teams, which is uh, sometimes we have the architectural teams, mechanical teams, uh, civil, structural, and so on. So basically, we can create a, a folder, right? A, a, a folder for each of these team. Thank you. So to create them, I'm just going to go to settings. Okay. All right. And I click on this get started. Okay. And I click on this continue. 
All right, now, so right now I'm going to create a, a new uh, team folders. Okay, all right. So now from here, for example, you have architecture, um, civil surveyor, structural engineers, and so on in a project. So you can just um, put uh, put in put in their team name. So for instance, I'm going to input this architecture and I can add. Okay. And then after you add, uh, also you can do, you can just repeat the same, the same process, the same step, which is um, going to add the survey or structural add. Okay. And also you can add uh, as many as uh, teams that you have. All right. So that is on adding the team. So basically, if uh, you can see on the left side here, we have this uh, a small circle with the colors. So this one is uh, will differentiate uh, the between each of the tips. So for example, on the architecture here, they are using this blue color. All right. So for instance, you want to change the color to yellow. Okay. So you can just change uh, directly from here. All right. So for the structure here, they are using this orange color. Okay, if you add, uh, add some more uh, team name, so basically they will appear with another different colors. Okay, so that is on the editing, adding, adding uh, a team. All right, so let me just go to this my Autodesk docs here. All right, so this is my Autodesk docs. So these are few, um, let me just, what we call this one, a uh, few folders that I have added which is under this project file, I have the civil models, offline, share, and so on. Okay, so um, to upload, uh, so as just now, I already show you on how we can upload the files, directly upload here, and click on this from your computer. Okay, so now, let me just go to this um, design collaboration here. Okay, so under this design collaboration, so for example, um, Maybe you are the um, you are the civil engineer, and you have done with the topo surface and so on, and then you want to share your your drawings or your models to another team members, which is your you want to share to structure, to architectural, mechanical, and so on. So we can just use under this design collaboration. All right, under this design collaboration, when I drop down here, drop down here down here so we have this call as the timeline package so basically this is the timeline package that uh, where we can uh, monitor or monitor the work process so for instance under the civil here these are the package that they have shared um on july all right so we have here this july august so basically we, we can see more okay so for example, uh, like I, I said just now, you want to share your um, your your models, your your maybe your completed models that you have done. Maybe you are the architecture and you want to share your completed models to mechanical so that they can do the plumbing and also plumbing and also electrical works. All right, electrical model. So you want to share your models to to all these. Uh, to all this team so what you can do so for instance i am the architecture here to click on this architecture under this architecture i have this uh create a new package all right so once i click on this create a new package okay so we can have this one and then under the mod under the models here i drop down so for instance i want to share this uh revit this revit um this revit model to all my team, other teams, which is to um, mechanical, civil, and so on. So I can just click here and I click on save. All right. Once I save package here, I have this share. So I click on share and this package name. So for example, I want to name it as the uh, 3D model. 3D model link. All right, 
And the at package description, maybe you want to say it is a completed, completed um, 3D model. And I can share. All right. So once I share this one, all the team members, all the, I mean, all the, um, all the team, all the, the other teams, for instance, I am the architecture right now, all the other teams, which is civil structure, um, civil structure, mechanical, and so on, will, uh, can, can use your model, can use your 3D model uh, as you share this now. So this is going to, going to go back up here, here. So under this architecture here, these are the one that we just shared, all right, on the 9th, 8th, 8th of September. Okay, so uh, so for instance, um, this is the one that, uh, this is the architecture, the one that shared to other people. So basically, for instance, um, civil, what, what, what will civil see uh, for this? So for instance, I click on here, all right. And I click on this one, just go to here, okay. I click on the, this is the civil team. Civil team want to open the shared, shared Revit model that architecture just shared just now. So they can click here and then they can consume. So once they can consume, once they click the consume, they can um, download and also they can do editing uh, on the model that the architecture shared just now. Okay, so once I am the civil, I click on the consume and I consume. <clears throat> All right, so this is uh, under the civil here. Uh, when I click back to the docs. All right, under the docs here, let me just go to my models, architecture. Have this consume. Okay, so this one, uh, the one that have been consumed, that we click consume just now. So this one is the one that have been consumed. All right, so that is on the design collaboration. So another one is I'm uh, just gonna show you on the simple um uh, adding and adding markup and the issues. So for example, I open here my um civil 3D here, my fish pond root here. Okay. Open this one, click here. All right, so from uh, directly from this drawing, from this 2D or 3D drawing, we can do a markup or issues. All right, so for instance, I open this um, drawing, and this drawing here, and then on the right side here, this is for the markup. Okay, so for instance, you want to add a uh, uh, comment, comments here. Maybe you want uh, to add markup and then click on this markup here and click here. All right. And I want to add uh, some uh, text here. Okay. Change the text into please. Please uh, change the width of the point. Width of the point. All right. And then I can click on publish. So if you 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 kind of um see you kind um cannot see clearly, so you can just change your text color or your font size. Okay. When I click publish, all the team members can see your markup. If you click on publish, you are the one that can see only you can see the 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 markup that you did just now. All right. So make sure that you click publish so that other team members can also uh see the markup. All right, so that is on the markup. Another one is uh, for the issues. All right, so issues is you can find here. So for example, uh, there are issues on this planting here. I want the engineers to remove the planting over here. So you can go to issues here, and then you need to you need to um, specify what are the types of your issues. For example, if your types of your issues uh, based on the building code, the design, maybe you want to change the design, can just choose design. So for now, I'm just going to change, I'm just going to choose this existing condition and I click on this uh, planting. So once I click that, on the right side here, you need to do uh, some, uh, some amends on here. 
So basically, these issues you can specify, you can assign to a specified uh, team members. So for instance, I want to assign this one to my colleague here, which is Anna here. And then the start date for her to resolve the issue is tomorrow. And the due date is on uh, this upcoming Friday. All right. And also you can add the comments. For example, um, please remove the planting. Okay. And you can click on submit. All right. Click on submit. Once you click on submit, on um, the issues, the, the Anna here, Anna man here will receive an email uh, which, uh, which saying that she need to, to resolve the issues. Okay, the one that has been assigned will receive the email. All right, so that is on the issues. Okay, you can as well do the issues for 3D drawing. So for instance, I open my 3D here. Okay, all right, this is my simple 3D models here. So you can directly um, create issues from here as well. Okay. All right. Okay, let me just close this one. Okay, so let me just uh, share my civil 3D. It's my civil 3D here. Okay, so for example, um, for this uh, civil 3D, so you want to directly open from your auto desktop, the one that you see on the auto desktops. So you will have, once you, um, once you install the auto desktop, Autodesk connector, Autodesk desktop connector, you can have this auto desktop here. So once you click auto desktops, all right. So once you click this auto desktop, this one will appear, which you need you need to choose which project that you want to open. So for example, uh, just now I'm I'm uh, working on this LTU, so I'm just gonna use this LTU, LTU project, and then you can directly open from here. So for instance, I have just now upload the fish pond road on my after the stock and I want to open directly on my civil 3D. So I can just directly open from here. Just click and then it will um, transferring the files into the civil 3D. So uh, if you make changes directly from the civil 3D and then you save basically um, on after the stock as well, uh, the, the changes will also update it on the after the stock dot as well okay so is there any questions so far i think that is um until that uh, that i can show you on the beam collaborate pro so basically uh there are many other functions for the beam collaborate pro which is the model coordination but uh that one i think i need to i can show you on my upcoming pro analysis for this beam collaborate pro Okay, so if there is no questions, I think that is all from me for today's Pion Lessons. Uh, thank you so much for joining uh, our Pion Lessons by CAT system. All right, if you don't have any questions, I will end my, um, my, my meeting here. Okay, thank you everyone. And yeah, stay safe. Bye-bye.